This is my first week as president, and to have, you know, strike pickets to come down to and see this kind of fight back, not just among staff, but also among parents, is so inspiring to everybody. And there are people all over the country watching this fight, and I will do whatever I can to support you in this. Hello, um, I'm Casey. I was here yesterday with all, uh, all these amazing teachers striking to save uh, not only your school, but my, my child's education. And I thank you so much for all being, being out here. Um, we know that you don't want to be out here. I know that you would rather be in there teaching the children and helping them become uh, role models in society, uh, get the GCSEs that they, they should be getting. Um, I'm going to pass you over to Hope now because she's here on the campaign to support you and to explain why she thinks she's doing the right thing and why she thinks that the school should not become an academy. Are you ready? Hello? Yeah. Shout if you can hear Hope! Yeah. In year 8 from my son, there was a lot more positive, there was a lot more focus on his special needs. But the, the more talk about Academy, there's a lot of changes now happening with the special needs kids. And it's them changes that are impacting on the special needs kids. Getting them in a classroom is such a big deal. And for all these changes to happen at once, it's affecting them because they don't want to be in a the classroom. They're not comfortable coming in at the moment. I'm being told he's in class and then I get told he's not, he's not in class, he's being sat with one of the Senkos all day. How is that going to help his education? What is he learning then? He's learning to sit with the teacher. The school, well, I'm not telling anyone anything. And when you speak to the school about it, they make out that everything that's happening here is the lie. And he's meant to have a full time as well. My son's funded, he's fully funded, and he doesn't have a full one to one. There isn't enough TAs in school anymore. Um, I think they've got 14 TAs in this yeah. school. Um, there isn't enough to give all students one to one, so they're having to share. We don't want teachers that are constantly leaving and new teachers coming, because then there's going to be no relationship with teachers and students, and that has an impact on their education. Because if they don't like the teacher, they're not going to sit down, they're not going to listen to what is being taught. I feel like mum should teach him more because she, if she was teaching him, she's shown the school before that he would do the work. And if not the this teacher, No, but if the teachers do teach him, he doesn't do it because they're not going to sit there and tell him to do it. They just sit back. They don't seem to know how to be with him. There is only so much I can teach him. And For the younger years it's okay. Because I'm only young, I can't really teach him anything. No, she's, she's younger than him. Seven, eight. So, <laughs> there is only so much we can do. So, I mean, from what you're saying, it really feels like there's a loss of trust from both of you for the school that kind of should be looking after someone you both care about. Definitely. My name is Hope and I'm a student at Cumberland School. All students have a right to hear all the information clearly explained with all the risks involved in becoming a multi-academy. This is our education that is going to be affected, which is going to take a massive impact on our future. My favourite teachers could leave due to changes in the contracts and pay meaning. We will be taught by complete strangers. I have brothers, a cousin and also friends with special needs. All the changes that will happen if school turns to an academy will impact on them. It's hard enough for them just to feel comfortable in a classroom. Wow. Well, I can't ask anyone yes. to follow that. That is why, that is why you are here. That is why amazing young people like that. Yeah. That is fantastic. Yeah, I think we're going to win this anyway.